Hey everybody, greetings from the Dank Basement. This is Squinty once again, talking about the old middle snuff, old English toast. Well, what can we say about this? Yeah, I'm sure it's toasted. It's a uh, little brainy for a toast. It's, pre it's, pre it's pretty full body. We'll, we'll call it full body. We won't call it grainy. Well, let's take a sniff. You guys, I just took up pipe smoking, and one of the things I love that I've tried with pipe smoking are the English blends. And the English blends, if you are not a pipe person, uh, or not, or if you're fairly new into tobacco, you might not have heard of this variety of tobacco before, but it is Latakia. And Latakia comes from Syria and other places in the Middle East, and it's cured over an open, smoky fire. There's a lot of different kinds of Latakias, each with their own character, but Latakia is very big in the style of pipe tobacco called English blends, all right? Therefore, old English snuff, but I was not ready for the punch of Latakia, and I thought, okay, this could be fairly unpleasant. If this is all Latakia, I might not like this very much. As is the case with any moist artisan snuff, I urge you not to run barefoot through your snuff. Use a spoon at least until you get it out of the tin. Then you can go ahead and play with it, but don't put your fingers in the tin. We don't want to contaminate our tins uh, with accidentally carried mold spores or anything like that. So, um, One of the things I love about artisan snuffs is that they are free of preservative chemicals and antifungals and stuff like that. Uh, but you have to handle them a little more carefully. Oh, oh. Oh, if this is so good, I'm going to almost. I had to squeeze it back and do my kegels to stop from, you know. If this were just Latakia, it would be good because the Latakia is precious. It's fantastic. There is a lot of smoke here. This is like sticking my nose into a tin of very good English pipe tobacco. Um, there are not words, and talk about scent permanence. By the way, talking about scent persistence in your nose or scent permanence, this one lasts for at least 20 minutes in your nose. If you want to follow this up with another snuff, you're going to need to do a couple of things. Uh, blow your nose thoroughly, certainly. Maybe even use some saline nasal spray to rinse some of the smoke out of your nose. Um, Short of that, using a light bergamot SP will help cleanse your palate, or light menthol. Um, something to get the nose juicing, because I took some of this, and then I took a sniff 20 minutes later of the Pure Virginia Toast, which I'll also be reviewing, and I could smell nothing but the Latakia. Thank God. It, I mean, it's a wonderful tobacco smell. And again... Just like the one I just reviewed, the Scarborough Fair, you are not going to find this snuff anywhere else. Nobody is making snuffs like this. And I have tried snuffs now from nine different countries. I have tried 190 different snuff blends. I have in my own collection probably 220 snuff blends, showing you that I still have 30 or so that I've never tried. Um... I have never. <laughs> man, oh man, oh man. So if you want to get this five out of five out of five all day long, if you're a pipe smoker, you're going to love this. If you're wondering what an English blend pipe tobacco smells like, you're not a pipe smoker, this will give you the experience. All the smoke with none of the carbon monoxide. Uh, and just fantastic. From the dank basement, you want to get these snuffs, you have to write Daniel directly, oldmillsnuff at gmail.com. That is oldmillsnuff at gmail.com.